Hey everybody. So I'm coming to you right now from Manitowoc County. So small town called Cooperstown, just a little bit north of Manitowoc. And the, as you're looking around, the landscape looks pretty standard Wisconsin. A few trees, a lot of underbrush, very green, pretty flat across the way. The thing is, if you just focus on the surface area around here, you miss out what about makes this place special. Now, the name of this place, uh, fittingly, is Maribel Caves County Park. If you look behind me, you can see that up top is where everything looks normal, but as you come a little further down closer to the river, there are a bunch of caves set back into this rock face, which is pretty much exposed all along here. Now, as spectacular as these caves are, most people in Wisconsin don't know about them now. In fact, they were better known around 1900. So behind me, you'll see the ruins of the Maribel Caves Hotel that was built in 1900 to capitalize on the popularity of the Maribel Caves. Patrons would come to bathe in the mineral springs that abounded in the area. While some guests came by car, others took advantage of the railroad station that was built nearby just for the hotel. Before 1900, photographs were fairly reserved for only the wealthy. But in 1900, which is the same time that the hotel opened, Kodak released their brownie camera, which allowed even amateur photographers to take pictures of themselves and their families. As you can see, the Mirabel Cave served as a stunning backdrop to these portraits and helped increase the popularity of the hotel. Unfortunately, these ruins are all that remain of the hotel today. After it closed in 1918, it reopened in the 1930s as a bar. But after several years, it burned down, and later on, a windstorm hit it to rip down other parts of it. Today, it has a great gothic look that might fit on a windswept moor in Scotland, more so than the plains of Wisconsin. But hey, we'll take it. Now, if I was to judge this area by just what I saw up top with it flat, regular Wisconsin, I'd probably think, ha, ah, nothing much to see here, let's keep on going. But as I came down a little bit deeper and got to explore it a little bit more, wow, amazing things to see. In a similar way, that is what like everybody at AMS is like. The thing is, that perfectly described what it's like getting to know people here at school. Everybody has hidden depths that they don't show us and we don't get to know them until we go a little bit deeper. Some of you I've learned are really into car racing and are auto mechanics and work alongside people in your family to make things happen. Others are very interested in horses. Other people can tell you almost anything you want about anime. Simply put, everybody has hidden depths or different places that certainly that are much more well developed than we see on the upside and on the surface that we would just not know if we don't take the trouble to go a little bit deeper. So today, take the Maribel Caves Challenge with your homeroom and advisory. Go a little bit deeper, ask about people, get to know them better. And as you learn that, you're going to see amazing things you never thought were there. All right, you take care.